In less than two weeks, teachers in Oregon's largest school district are planning to go on strike. So that means parents now have a limited time to figure out how they'll handle child care if Portland teachers hit the picket lines. We wanted to know what are the teachers' plans and is a strike definitely happening? Lisa Baylick getting answers for us. What did you find out, Lisa? Well, keep in mind, Portland teachers have never gone on strike, and they have gotten this close to one before. Right at this point, though, both the district as well as the teachers say families need to get ready for one. We know that we need to invest in our students, and we're willing to strike if that's what it takes to push the district to address the crisis that our schools are in. The teachers union says Portland's 4,500 public school teachers overwhelmingly support going on strike for better pay, smaller class sizes, more planning time among the key issues. The district says if teachers walk out, they'll close the school buildings, no in-person classes or online instruction. I wanted to know what parents could expect when it comes to students keeping up with learning. So are the kids going to be sent home hypothetically with material saying, OK, here's your material for the next two weeks or the next month that you can work on? We can barely get through planning for the week. Um, there is no way for us to be able to provide anything additional to our students uh, without a dramatic increase in unpaid hours for our educators. The district is working on providing off-site locations for meal pickups, possible help from nonprofit partners. But parents know it will be on families to figure out academic help and child care. Planning by some already underway. I think it's going to look a little bit different, so I think it is going to be more, um, you know, we're thinking about putting together a Google form where parents can say, here's who, here's who we are, here's what our needs are, here's what we can offer, and making that information available to our school community so parents can make those connections. So we can say, my neighbor over here is home on Tuesdays and I'm home on Mondays or something like that. Meanwhile, the district is working to fill some of the gaps if the teachers are gone and buildings are closed. The strike will be very different than what we experienced during the pandemic because we won't have our educators um, enable and one of our educators on board and able to support students on a daily basis. What we will have are some limited supports, some limited tutoring opportunities for students who need it the most, and that'll be delivered online. The district says it has its negotiating team standing by to restart talks. The union says it's ready as well, but both sides tell me that may not happen until just a day or two before the strike is set to begin November 1st. Now keep in mind also there is no time frame until an agreement is reached. If they do go on strike, there is no set time. They just gave the district 10 days notice and a couple extra days as well. But again, November 1st is when it's supposed to start. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Quint 6 News.